Welcome to my channel. I'd like to introduce you to my Savior and best friend, Jesus Christ. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And Jeremiah 29.11 says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans for hope and a future. I'd like to share with you a special dream that the Lord gave me a few nights ago, and I'll call it a pre-rapture dream. I think that this will be encouraging to you. The Lord blessed me with a pre-rapture dream, as I call it, early in the morning on January 16th. I'd like to share it, but I will be reading because I believe that the details are important. In this dream, I was in a house packing and preparing to move. Some worship team members from my old church were with me, helping me to prepare. We were joyful. It wasn't like any of my other moves, which involves much stress, financial worry, and lack of preparation, lack of organization. The mood was positive. Someone told me that the financial end or the provision was taken care of. I smiled. I was also told that the new home was ready to occupy. The dream ended as I was making more preparations, greatly looking forward to seeing my new house with more anticipation than ever. And I believe that there's three key concepts to the short dream. Number one is preparation. Number two is the fact that it was ready to occupy. And number three, was the provision that it was already provided for. So please hang with me. Um, I'll keep this short, but I wanted to share one very key scripture. Um, and I'd also like to just explain um, the key concepts, especially the first one of preparation. The interpretation for my dream is pretty simple. The old house represented my earthly life and habitation on earth. Um, preparing to leave represents preparation to depart for when the rapture takes place and the Lord comes for his bride, the church. And waiting with great anticipation, um, that's just representative of me waiting for my Savior to come and take me as a part of the bride uh, to be with him. And at this time, the Lord reminded me that there is a reward for those who long for his coming. And I'm going to share that scripture with you. The scripture that I just referenced is 2 Timothy 4, 8, which says in the King James Version, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. 2 Timothy 4, 8. The main scripture verse that this dream illustrates is found in John 14, verses 2 to 3. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And this is Jesus speaking to his disciples in John 14, verses two to three. I asked the Lord what he wanted me to share in regards to my dream. And he said, tell them I am coming soon and focus on preparation. So in preparation for the rapture, when Jesus returns for his church or bride, first of all, we need to be in the word of God every day without fail. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, says Psalms 119 verse 105. Remember that the word is the number one way in which the Lord speaks to us today. Secondly, I would say spend as much time in prayer and fellowship with the Lord as you can. James 4 verse 8a in the NIV version says, come near to God and he will come near to you. That's a wonderful promise. And third, repent often. To repent just means to change your mind. The Greek word for that is metanoia. So you're stepping away from anything that might resemble sin in your life um, and you are walking away from it. Acts 3.19 says, therefore repent and return so that your sins may be wiped away in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. If you're watching this video and you do not have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, then today is your day. Romans 10 verses 9 through 10 says that if thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. 
I would also encourage you to look up on your own 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 through 4 which is the gospel of our salvation and it basically says that Jesus died for our sins he was buried and he rose again on the third day according to scriptures I would encourage you to believe in the Lord Jesus 100% for your salvation thank you for listening and please hit like and subscribe